and just two weeks ago, Ella, as she's known, and Tom were at an event with Queen Camilla um, for the kind of Shakespeare event. So that just gives you an idea of sort of how how important they are within the family. But then, of course, sadly, he was found dead on Sunday night by emergency services who say there's no other parties involved. Uh, there's no suspicious circumstances. There's only 45. Mm. Um, it's all de- dre- de- dreadfully sad. Um, and the king and queen have, have joined the rest of the family in 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 expressing their kind of grief for him. Um, so that 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 all happened. Well, the news sort of broke yesterday, but um, it, interestingly, they said that that was not the reason. That was not the quote yeah. unquote personal matter that prevented the Prince of Wales from attending the memorial yesterday for King Constantine II, who was the last King of Greece, and William's godfather, Prince Michael of Kent. Um, Prince Michael of Kent, as people might know, is a first cousin, Queen Elizabeth II. So Tom was married to Gabriella, Lady Gabriella Windsor. They got married in uh, 2000, well, 2019 um, in a huge um, wedding at St George's Chapel, in Windsor, the Queen, the late Queen was there, members of the royal family were there. Um, and he, she may be now 57th in line to the throne, but she's still very much part of the, that kind of extended family, always invited to those big kind of Christmas parties and events. And just two weeks ago, Ella, as she's known, and Tom were at an event with Queen Camilla um, for the kind of Shakespeare event. So that just gives you an idea of sort of how how important they are within the family. But then, of course, sadly, he was found dead on Sunday night by emergency services who say there's no other parties involved. Uh, there's no suspicious circumstances. There's only 45. Mm. Um, it's all de- 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 dreadfully sad. Um, and the king and queen have, have joined the rest of the family in, in, in expressing their kind of grief for him. Um, so that that... That, that all happened, well, the news sort of broke yesterday. But um, it, interestingly, they said that that was not the reason, that was not the quote-unquote yeah. personal matter that prevented the Prince of Wales from attending the memorial yesterday for King Constantine II, who was the last King of Greece and William's godfather. And, and the point here is, because there's a picture in the Times of everyone who was there with, and they're all numbered and then you can see who, who they all are. Um, it It's notable um, that Tom Kingston's parents-in-law, the Prince uh, and Princess Michael of Kent, did attend that memorial service, but Prince William uh, didn't or couldn't. So it must be something incredibly important. Well, that's right. Um, Prince William lives about stone's throw away from where that memorial service happened. Um, it wouldn't take him very long at all to get there. The service lasted an hour. There was a, sh- a reception afterwards in the Great Hall, but he could have quite easily skipped that. But it was obviously so last minute that his name was still in the order of service yesterday. I was there mm-hmm. at Windsor uh, looking through it and it still said Prince of Wales. Now, in the end, in the event, um, Crown Prince Pavlos of, of Greece gave the gave the reading. He's the son of the late King Constantine. Um, but they didn't have time to change the paperwork. So it's obviously quite last minute. I was told that he had told the Greek family he wasn't going to come. Um, Kensington Palace was saying it's a personal matter. They're also saying that the the Princess of Wales's health continues well, is mm. what they're saying. Um, but of course, you know, and, and, and the message is sort of don't panic. But um, that's exactly what people are doing. I remember you know, just seeing through some of the messages on social media last night and someone saying, I've fallen down a rabbit hole of conspiracy theories about Kate's illness. Mm. Someone please rescue me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, it, it, it you know, it is this new um, this new strategy that William's quite obviously prepared to be outspoken on certain issues, like we saw last week with his in- intervention in the in the Gaza conflict. Um, but when it comes to personal matters, it's very much a kind of shut door. Mm. Um, and the argument rages about whether they are entitled to privacy or or or, or not. Um, I wanted to ask you about Prince Andrew. Was was he? So he was at the memorial service. He's pictured in the Times um, with. Uh, uh, with his his former wife, um, was he always going to be there, and and did he take on a more prominent role, or or not? It was always due to attend. I think it's one of those moments where they've said that he's allowed to carry on um, and, and join kind of personal family events, which this was. You don't have to just be a member, a working member of the royal family, 
But when they came down, the, the, the um, members of the royal family came down the hill walking uh, towards the chapel to the Galilee porch yesterday. He was far out in front. He was very pleased with himself. You know, don't know how appropriate that is for a memorial service, but very pleased to be back, <laughs> it seemed, in the fold and leading every leading the charge down the hill. I mean, you couldn't really make it up. Um, it was nice to see Sarah Ferguson there, actually. And um, she looked very well, despite yes. the fact she's been through breast cancer and skin cancer. And that was lovely. She looked very energetic. She was chatting to a dean of Windsor after the service. Um, but yeah, my goodness. Um, I, yeah, he is always, you know, he's still part of the family. He's going to be at those events. And and King Constantine II was a great friend of the family. as a former sailing partner of Prince Philip and his first cousin once removed. Um and uh, so he, you know, they, known him, they knew him as Tino mm. and other people knew, knew him as King Con. He lived obviously in exile in, in London for years. So he's a great character. So there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of personal affection for him. So that's, it's perfectly reasonable that Andrews mm. should have been there. Perhaps he, you know, he might have um, let, let Princess Anne or somebody go first. But uh... <laughs> yes. Uh, Kate, thank you for that. That is it. Kate Mansey, as she writes about the royals for the time. That doesn't seem to be his way. Yeah. 